Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up everyone, Matt here. So I was in the community and uh, somebody had a question about how can I create X number of child records when I specify a number inside the parent. I happen to be just working on an app that had that in it and I'm gonna run through how I did it. Let's do this. Okay, so uh, on my screen, what I've got here is I have the I have a composite action, and uh, this is one of those group things where I've got a couple of things that happens. So this composite action lives inside the save event for the table that I'm trying to kick this series of actions off on. So on the parent. Uh, inside my parent, which I have open here, you can see I have this column that says how many installation phases w should be included in this series. So the idea is they enter a number of items, they enter a number into that. When they save the form, the system then creates one record for whatever number they entered. So they enter four, it makes four records. If they enter 26, it makes 26. Could get dangerous if somebody enters a big number, but you see what I'm saying? So the way that that works, right? is I've got a number column and then on this form, so if I go to the form view, you can see on the event action, I have this save require series. So this is that action that we were looking back at here. So if we go back to this. So when I save this form that's on the screen, right? What happens is, is it kicks off this loop. So looping is one of the most greatest things that Steve like found and told everybody about in, in the community. Uh, looping allows you to do exactly the sort of thing that you're talking about here. Like I have a list and I need to create one record for each item in the list, or I need to create one record for however many number, you know, whatever the number is that I've done inside there. So you need to do something, like you need to do a process over and over and over and over again. So that's the looping thing. And so what I've done here is if I show you how this works, right? So I'm looking at this insta phase loop repeat. So if we go and we find this uh, insta phase loop repeat, all this does is execute the loop. And so if we go find the loop, what the loop does is it executes the new action and then executes that repeat action, the original one that kicked it off. Okay, so now if we go look at the new action, I'm just following the breadcrumbs go into the new action, this is the one that actually makes the record, right? So this is one of those add a new row to another table using values from this row. It lives on the parent. I'm creating a record in the child table. And then you have to set any of the required columns. So this is where you need to go back to your data store or go back to data columns, open up the table, find all of the columns that are required and make sure that you have a column with a value for all of those things that are required. Um, so, right, this is just linked to the parent. Um, and now the key for making this work is this condition statement down here. The condition is count related installation phases is less than the, the number column that I have. So this related installation phases is a virtual column that lives on the parents table because when you set up a parent child reference connection like this, the system automatically creates a reverse reference on the parent that's a list of all of the related child records. Okay, that list column I'm talking about is that column right there, related installation phases. So that's a list of records, right? It's a list so I can count the records that are in that. And this thing needs to keep firing off as long as the count of those records isn't, uh, is less than the number that I said you're supposed to do. Because the idea is it kicks off, right? And then we go back to the, go, so that's the one that kicks off. So it kicks off and then it repeats. And the repeat is just starting back over again. So it goes right back up to the top. And so it's like, it makes a record, makes two, makes three, makes four, and now we're done. Because now we're equal to four. And we don't want it to fire off when it's equal to four, because I only wanted to make four, right? So that's how you do that. It's just a looping with actions scenario where the condition is the count of the child records is less than the number 
fee, number column that you have in your parent. Let me know if you have any further questions about this. This can be kind of tricky to get uh, working the first time, but after you do it a couple of times, you start to kind of understand how this little looping with action setup works. Anyways, see you in the community.